Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Wow. It has been a uh, exciting 24 hours because last night, on the verge of a government shutdown with funding running out on health care for 9 million children, going toe to toe with a madman with thermonuclear arsenals, Donald Trump stayed laser focused by announcing the winners of his fake news award <laughs> the fakies. And I'm sad to say the late show was snubbed. No, it's hard yeah. to take, but at least for once we didn't lose to John Oliver. <laughs> <laughs> we We really tried to win. We tried. I mean, we ran an aggressive for your consideration campaign including this real actual giant billboard <laughs> in Times Square. We just assumed Trump would see it. Because Times Square has his two favorite things, fast food and a hint of urine. <laughs> Allegedly. 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 A lot of Trump fans here tonight. That's nice. <laughs> it's going to be a smooth evening. Like, like everything with Donald Trump, uh, these award ceremony uh, was overhyped and underwhelming. It was supposed to be. He pumped this as a big event. But in the end, the president just tweeted, and the fake news winners are dot, 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 <laughs> with a link. And when you click the link, it took you to the GOP website, which said, 404 error. <laughs> yes. Presidency not found. <laughs> and that's, I'm not making that up. That's the actual website. That's what you saw when you went. That's so embarrassing. I mean, I, I, who set that up? I have so many websites. I have them all over the place. I hire people. They do a website. It costs me $3. <laughs> you were overcharged. <laughs> so, uh, the GOP page it was on crashed, presumably due to high traffic volume. It makes sense. GOP.com was only built to receive email from Reince Priebus's mom, <laughs> who I assume is named Florence Shebus. <laughs> A joke doesn't mean anything. I just really like the mock-up. <laughs> on, uh, on the Fox and Friends, Foxy friend Steve Ducey described the website crash this way. From fake news to break news because it broke the internet when the fake news awards were released. No, he didn't break the internet. His website just sucks. <laughs> but, but, Steve, thank you for saying broke the internet, which gave us an excuse to make this. Drink it in. <laughs> Drink it in. Uh, eventually, they did get the site up and running. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first annual Donald J. Trump Fakey Awards. And it's a poorly formatted PDF of stories Trump considered fake news. There isn't even a trophy. You can't just make a list and call it awards. <laughs> Honey, we're out of milk. I guess I'll just add that to the grocery awards. <laughs> so. Who was the big winner? A drum roll, please. <laughs> Number one, because major awards are always numbered, the New York Times' Paul Krugman for his article claiming the economy would never recover from a Trump presidency. <laughs> Damn. I really thought it would be Lady Bird. <laughs> it's a good movie. But Paul Krugman, in my opinion, should not even be eligible. First of all, it's an editorial, Mr. President, and opinions can't be fake. Second, everybody in the op-ed game knows Krugman is juicing. He's not... <laughs> he's disqualified. Uh... Now, according... <laughs> that was a surprisingly disturbing image just now. <laughs> now... According to the GOP.com, these awards had to happen because since Trump was elected, the media has spent 90% of the time focused on negative coverage. Well, yeah. <laughs> Trump is bad at being president 90% of the time. <laughs> Just this week, we're preparing... <laughs> I mean, I'm not making this up. Just this week, we are preparing for a government shutdown. Found out that Trump had an affair with a porn star and almost lost Hawaii. It's only Thursday. <laughs> of course, 
<laughs> yes, yes, almost lost Hawaii. No, no, stop. Thank you. Very kind. Thanks for watching my YouTube video. Now it's your turn to thank me. Click subscribe, and at the end of the next video, I'll thank you again.